Welcome to the sands of until. Let's learn about until. Until is a type of loop. The loop will run until a condition is met. This is how you write the until loop. And use the keyword until space the condition that you want to meet. And then you could have any number of commands below, but each would need to be indented. Here's an example. Until near bridge, near bridge is the condition, step one. So basically I want to step one until I'm near the bridge. As soon as I'm near the bridge, I'll stop looping and I'll go to the, the next command outside of the loop. Let's look at an example. Here's an example where we have two until loops. Uh, if we look at the actual challenge, we want the mouse to grab the match and then go to the pile and drop it. So we have the first until loop is basically going to have the mouse stepping until it's near the match. And then we want the mouse to grab the match and then loop and step until it's near the pile. And then we can drop the match on the pile. Let's see how that works. Oh. Okay, so we're in a situation right now where we have an endless loop. We never, since the mouse never turned to the pile, it's never going to get near the pile. It's just going to keep stepping and never getting near the pile. So this loop here will run forever. So you got to make sure that when you have an until loop that the condition will be met. So let's see, before we step, let's turn to the pile and then step. Make sure we're always turning to the pile before we're stepping. Okay, very good. Now in that example, we could have put the turn to above the until near pile because the pile never moves. So this didn't have to be in the loop. It could have been right above the until and it would still work. Let's look at it another example. Here's an example that's similar to the last one, but a little different in that we're calling the until loop within a function called chase. But also, there's an ant that is going to be moving that match. So the match is now a moving target. Uh, so if we just go in within the function until near m. Now what m is our parameter that takes on match the first time chase is called. And the second time chase is called M is pile. So when we have this loop, we want to make sure since the match will be moving, we want to always turn to it. And then uh, I guess step, right? We want to step one. So we're getting closer to it each time. We're turning, stepping, turning, stepping until we're near it and then we'll grab it and in the case of the pile we'll drop it. Let's see how this works. There we go. Got it. Oops. So something uh, took a... Oh, is it going to get to the pile? Oh, I know what I messed up on. Instead of saying match, I need to just say M. So first time it will be the match it's turning to, the second time it will be the pile. Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, 
Now it's your turn to use until. Good luck. <laughs>